Hi everyone, welcome to term four, and welcome to my uh, year eight science lessons. It's been a while. Uh, it's been two weeks uh, since I make uh, videos, and today I'm gonna introduce to you a topic that we are going to do for this uh, coming term, which is a Monday, and. This term we will mostly be doing energy, okay, topic on energy which involve uh, kinetic heat, uh, frictions, and etc. And let's get into it. I hope you guys had a great holiday. I certainly did. And this is the new thing that I'm trying out, okay. Uh, that have my face in it and my lesson on the on your left hand side and yeah bear with me so uh let's begin introduction to energy is what this uh quick video is gonna be about and there are three keywords that you will need to know uh keywords number one is obviously energy keywords number two is work and keywords number three is law of conservation of energy. Okay. So, energy makes things happen right there. Okay. Energy makes literally everything happen. What is energy? It's actually very hard to explain what energy is. Uh, because you cannot weigh and you cannot see energy. Okay. Uh very hard to define energy because there it cannot be weighed or uh, seen or seen cannot be seen however it can be measured Okay, there are multiple ways of measuring energy, uh, for example, joules or watts, okay, like kilowatts, kilojoules, these are two, and calories, these are uh, the main few things that you can use to measure. Uh, it can be measured, I will put it over here. It can be measured, however, uh, by these three things. Uh, we have uh, joules, uh, watts, and also uh, calories. Three things that we can measure energy. There are multiple ways of measuring it, okay, which you will learn very soon. So, uh, uh, things that involve energy, I want you to take a minute to actually uh, think about what do you think are the things that actually involve energy. Uh, you can pause the videos or you can uh, list it out yourself and here are a few. Number one thing is your roller coaster, if you look at them going up and down, up and down. Uh, those involve various different type of energy, okay, and you the the wind, you know, like as you uh drive your car, you can like if you have a car, or if your parents drove a car, and if you open the window down, the breeze, okay, that is energy, okay, energy is what needed to make everything happens, okay. It also exists in multiple form, okay. Uh, exists in multiple form, which I will explain in the next videos. Uh, the different types of energy, okay. Uh, but I will quickly tell you there are the some of the example are electrical, uh, sound light and heat okay there are a few more but these are the main one uh second thing that i would like to talk to you uh it 
something that you have to remember by heart is this a uh, law of conservation of energy there are two rules when you remember when you heard about if you ever heard about energy these are the two rules that you need to remember straight away okay uh, the first one is energy cannot be destroyed or create okay you cannot destroy energy or create it you cannot create energy rule number two the reason why it cannot be created or destroyed is because energy can only transform from one form to the other what does that mean for example just uh, one of the uh, best example is all right if you are cold okay if you feel cold one way to actually warm yourself up is by rubbing your both palms together isn't it when you rub both of your palms together what will happen is you will feel the warm the heat energy okay where does the heat energy come from good question it comes from friction okay friction is when you rub two things together it creates you know it doesn't create it transform into heat energy another one why do you think charcoal when you burn it it give off heat energy because in the charcoal it store chemical energy so it transform to the other one okay so remember two things to take away uh, if you're gonna remember anything today is energy cannot be destroyed or correct and energy can only transform from one form to the other okay and the third one is work what is work so work is given to the effect of using energy okay so let me write that down and please write this note down it's gonna help you so work is the name given to the effect of using energy okay so whenever an object is shifted or forced to change shape then work is done has been done work has been done so if i move from one place to another it require energy that means it is a part of work okay so to sum up today's videos uh we look at three keywords energy work and law of conservation of energy and energy cannot be weighed or seen but it can be measured okay and it's very hard to define energy but it comes in different multiple forms such as electrical sound light heat and remember the two laws of conservation uh, two rules in law of conservation of energy is energy cannot be created or destroyed and energy can only transform from one form to another that's it for today and well we will see you in the next lesson see ya bye peace out